Okay, today I want to talk about this whole trivia and Martin thing. You know, the guy, the black guy, killed by his neighborhood watch. And it's a definite case of flat out racism. Both from the cops and this guy that killed him. But I wonder if there's more to it. Isn't it obviously, there's a racist content to it, but, you know, is it also a class issue? This rich white person sees this black person going through his community. And of course, his first thought is, not only is he black, but he's poor. And he doesn't belong there. This is their community. This is for those who have are special and are somehow more worthy of being there because they have money for some reason. We keep seeing it time and time again, this sort of entitlement that rich people have. That somehow they're better, greater, and special than anyone else. He sees this black kid there, this poor black kid in his mind. He thinks he doesn't belong there. He's going to throw him out. He's going to teach this punk a lesson. That, he, that his kind, both poor and black, don't belong in his community. This is for special white privileged people. He gets, so he tries to run him off. The kid doesn't want to have anything to do with it. It seems to be that may have fought back. I probably would have too. You know, here's this punk ass white guy coming up and telling him he doesn't belong. He shouldn't be there. You know, and is there any, this guy doing I suspect he probably pushed the kid too far. So, how much is it, is it racism and how much of it is classism, this whole special privilege? And then, of course, you got the whole issue with the cops. The cops don't give a fuck about the kid. They interrogate this guy for a brief time and then let him go. He shoots the kid in cold blood, supposedly to self-defense, doesn't matter. He ki kills a kid for no reason whatsoever. He's not a cop. He shouldn't even have a fucking gun. What is this guy doing with a gun as a neighborhood watch? No. It was a black kid this time. What if it was one of the white kids? No. Of course they let him go home. Because he's a special white person. Bullshit. And we see this deal time and time again. Both with how cops treat blacks and even poor people in general compared to how they treat rich people. You know, you got bankers that bankrupt the country. You got fraud prevalent within Wall Street over and over again. Banks fraud and whatnot. And the only time they get caught is when they fraud other rich people. But when they fraud American people, poor people, nothing happens. You know, black kid or even a white kid, poor kid. Gets caught with a pound of marijuana, or even a little bit, even a joint, he goes to jail. A rich person has that much. You know, what happens? Nothing. You know, maybe he gets put into rehab. You know, he doesn't get sent to jail. It is an inequality in the way rich people are treated compared to poor people. Even how poor people white people are, are treated compared to poor black people. We don't care. The, the cops don't care. The powers that be don't care. There's no equality. We have to do, start demanding equality. Anytime stuff like this happens, make us think about it. Make videos about it. I think we need to start making a bigger deal about each and every single one of these situations. If you got a white person, a rich person, that gets off scot-free or with a light slap on the wrist for a crime he does, make a big deal about it. If it's an overzealous, over-insane jailing of someone for a petty crime, make us think about it. Let's raise awareness to these situations. Let's get an outcry going. Because maybe... Just maybe, if we make enough of a stink, enough of an outcry, things can change. 
We can change the world. I don't know. Is it po maybe it's not possible, but I want us to do this. We've got to stop it in all situations. You know? You don't... You know, people deserve better than this. You know? What, being rich, white, black, whatever, shouldn't give you special privileges over everybody else when it comes to the law. You know, everybody should be treated the exact same way. I don't care about this bullshit claims that conservatives and other people claim about, you know, it's class warfare. You're just picking on the rich. No. They're getting away with murder, literally, because they're rich. Because nobody, because everybody somehow treats them differently. We shouldn't be treated any differently. We should be treated just the same as everyone else. If you don't deserve respect, they earn it. Now this goes back to one of the earlier videos. I'll link it below. No one deserves respect. They earn it. Maybe there's a certain base level. We shouldn't treat one person higher than the other person simply because of some privilege you think you know some station because they're they're policemen they're pr priest they're even a president or whatever you base your respect on their actions not some preconceived notion of a state state of some sort of position that gives them more respect because people use it and abuse it and it's what corrupts the system. We need to change the system. I don't know what else I can do but make videos and try to do it. But if we can, this is a way of starting. You know, write to your congressman. Write to your, anybody that you can write to that might be able to change these things. You know, let's start a campaign to send Messages and emails to the police department. It's worked in the past to get their attention. Even if you can't do that, start calling your representatives. Start doing something so every time these things happen, they have no choice but to listen to us because they can't silence us all. I don't know. Comment below if you agree or disagree or if you have any other suggestions for ways we can help because I really want to hear your thoughts.